Hello everyone. Today we will be configuring this network topology based on voice over IP in local area network. So if you see this topology, I have got here two IP phones, uh, two analog phones. We also have an NTP server along with a Cisco ma uh, call manager. I have got a few voice over IP devices for connecting analog phones and a switch. Router here I'm using 2811. Model number is 2811. Make sure you use the same model. And switch you can use anyone. I'm using here model number 2960. So let's start our router configuration. First we'll do router configuration, then we'll uh, do we'll configure our switch, then IP phones and NTP server. So let's get started. We need to create one DHCP pool, so let's create it. We are creating a pool for voice. option 150 IP uh, this is mandatory strip this enables our router to give IP addresses on the phones and in case our phones are IP phones are not pre-configured with the uh, uh, server configuration so it will provide TFTP server configurations as well now let's configure our telephony services Now IP source address uh, with a port 2000. Port 2000 is default port for voice over IP and this command is used to identify port number and IP address on which IP phones will communicate through CME router or Cisco call manager. Now let's give phone numbers to our IP phones. Here I have given some numbers 101, 102. So you can take any number, I am taking these numbers. I guess we are using just four phones, yeah. So we have four phones.
so yeah router configuration is yeah ntp server is remaining let's do ntp as well Let's go to our switch now. right so our PC are getting IP address let us do for this as well okay. let's see if our phones are getting numbers okay 104 which is showing us the date 9 5 29 is our month 5 is the date Today and 20 is the year, and it is showing us the time as well 14 56 that is almost 2 p.m. So, all the phones should show us the same time, yeah. And if you see here, this is almost 3, so my time with the computer, my laptop time should almost be similar. If I see here, it is 2 5th of September 2020 and almost three so little bit discrepancy will come it's not an issue 
can go inside a router and check the clock as well so it is showing us the time as well here we can check on our server as well we can check our NTP status also clock is synchronized so everything is referenced with this IP address that is NTP server's IP address what else we have so it's showing us the last update as well it was updated 12 seconds before let's try to call our through our phones One zero four. So let's try call one zero one. It's ringing. Let's see where is our one zero one. One zero three. One zero two. This should be one zero one. And I'm getting a call from one zero four. So let me pick it up. Yep, it is connected line is disconnected let's disconnect this as well let's try calling all the IP phones 103 so let me call 104 it's ringing out this is our 104 and you can see the light blinking and we can have voice as well we can hear the ring tone i have to just go into my options and just remove the option for ringing so it's showing us connected as well so this is how we can configure our ip phones and analog phones along with cme server and ntp server all right cisco call manager express it is an enhanced ip telephony solution that is integrated into cisco ios I hope this video is informative and helpful. Let me know what should I do next in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.